away. So here they come. Here they come. Still not driving, eh? Not until the week's over. Good for you. It's about time someone takes a personal stand against these ridiculous gas prices. Exactly. Why don't you join me, Blanchard? Are you kidding? I'm on an expense account. But stick with it. Don't quit. Quit? <laughs> Please. Bindle beefs never quit. I'll give you two bucks for a ride to work. Arthur. I'm sorry. Two fifty. A C! I actually squeezed out a C in English! And my mom thought she'd never see the day. But you! You've never seen anything close to a C! Always A's and B's, B's and A's, A's and B's, B's and A's! I got a D. You got a D? <gasps> yeah, algebra. I told you Miss Hankin hates me. Stankin' Hankin'. She is evil. Evil. Malicious. Malicious. Duplicitous. Duplicitous. Rancorous. And you only got a C in English? Hey, I can say them. I just can't spell them. So what are you going to do? You know, our parents have to sign these. Excuse me, what are your thoughts on adoption? <laughs> My life is over. This is it. Where's my tombstone? Take me now. You'll be fine. She's right, girl. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. Yeah, a dying flame. <laughs> it's just one F. Yeah, F is in future, which I don't have anymore. Mike fails biology. Now we can't go to the prom. <laughs> Why me? Why? Look on the bright side. At least you got an A. Oh, who cares? Come on, girl, I'll walk you home. Walk. Mike loved to walk. Roy, don't rush to fall in love. You hear me? Ugh. Do not rush to fall in love. It hurts. Love hurts. <laughs> what? Look at my report card. Why? So you can glow? No, no, I need your help. See, I'm new at messing up, but you're an expert. I need to know how to break it to mom and dad. You gotta be in history. No, go down. Be in biology? To the left. Ain't English? No, your other left. Oh. Oh. Oh! How did you get a D in algebra? You're supposed to be the smart one, the brainiac, the geek, the point Dexter. Maybe I lost focus between the wedgies. Sorry, I just never thought you would get a D. You know what this means. Yeah, I'm going to break your personal record for being grounded. No, what I meant was, this is going to make me look great. I got one A, three Bs, two Cs, but no Ds. Step aside, Flunky. It's party time. Thanks for the ride. I am so sorry for your loss. Ah, you're back. How's Mr. I'm going to bring the oil companies to their knees doing? Getting stronger all the time. Coming home today, it felt like I hardly walked at all. Good, then you won't mind walking to Steagles for me. Steagles? That's eight blocks. Uh, um, <clears throat> I mean, it, 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 doesn't it close at six? Yes, so you better hurry. I need some frosting. Frosting? You're making me walk eight blocks for frosting. I took off work early to make these cupcakes for Catherine's bake sale at school tomorrow. Now go, please.
doing? Taking Roy's bike? Are you sure you want to do that? It took that boy forever to earn enough money to buy that bike. There's not a scratch on it. Fine. It's not like I'm tired of walking or anything. Are we doing cupcakes now? Yes, sweetie. Pass me that bowl. Why are you standing there looking all lost? Catherine, I need to talk to Mom. Could you please go to your room? Roy, whatever you have to say, you can say in front of your sister. Is this about your D in algebra? D in algebra? Catherine, sweetie, could you please go? Let me guess to my room for a minute. Roy, you never had a D before. Try not to think of it as a D. It's more like a C minus. Minus. What happened? Did you understand the material? No. Then did you ask questions in class? No. Well, do you know how you're going to explain this to your father? I was hoping that maybe you could talk to him for me. <laughs> Sorry. This is your D, not mine. I got my diploma years ago. I got an A in gym. I wanted Thursday. Hello? Tuesday? I wanted Monday. Dad, you know the letter between C and F? Well, that's what I got in a little class called algebra. But hey, I'll never use algebra again, so what's the big deal? Dad's understanding. Maybe it won't be so bad. Hello, father. Hello, son. Your mother said you have something to tell me. I have some disturbing news. Oh? Our report cards were distributed today, father, and there's a minor glitch on mine. Glitch? Yes, father. A D. I received a D in algebra. But everyone makes mistakes, right? I'll understand if you make me stay in my room and clean it for a month. Dirty rooms are part of life, just like D's in algebra. It's not like you're ever going to use it. Come on, let's watch the game. The Patriots are in the playoffs. I love you, son. Yeah, right. A D? A D? A D! My son's got a D! A D! My son got a D! A D! So this is all that's left of my son's bike. What are we going to do? Well, I'm going to file a report. You're going to have to go home and tell your boy what you did. What I did? I, I didn't run over his bike. Someone took the bike without asking. Someone left it near the curb where it could get hit. Some... Okay, I may be a little at fault here. And how am I going to explain this to my son? I don't envy you. A buddy of mine, Jack, his kid was 10, right? Jack accidentally stuck his favorite Ninja Turtle in the microwave. The kid didn't eat for days. Did he finally get over it? No, never did. Never seen him since. Officer, my son's gonna be devastated. You can say that again. What? All right, so here's what I have. It's a blue bike with two wheels, a one-seater, and it was your son's prized possession. Is that correct? Exactly. What am I gonna do? You can always leave for cigarettes like my father and never come back. I don't smoke. Eh, neither did he. Dr. Bindleby, hey. Hey, girls. Is everything okay, Dr. Bindleby? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Nothing! Stay on your kid's bike and let it get pummeled into pieces? It's nothing! <laughs> Good luck. Wow. Roy loved that bike. Bike. It rhymes with Mike. Will the agony and heartache ever end? Roy worked like for a year to get that bike. Oh, he's gonna be hurt. And I know hurt. <laughs> I get the picture, girls. Thanks for the pick-me-up. Goodbye, Dr. Benaby. Good luck. I want you to be missing. Oh, keep your
your head up, baby bro. It's not like the end of the world. Yeah, there's always next semester. I can bring my grade back up. No, I meant Dad won't be home for another ten minutes. Then it'll be the end of the world. <laughs> but look at the bright side. What's that? I guess there isn't one. <laughs> no, take that back. There is one bright side. I told you she was a genius. Better than that other kid, uh, uh, Roland. Don't you mean Roy? Whatever. Angie, your mother and I are so proud of you. And because of your achievement in school, we've decided to give you an all-expense-paid trip around the world to pursue your dream of being a pop star. Man, that's some story. Now, you see why I need that bike? Come to think of it, I remember your son. Yeah, he came in here back in January, that lunch bag full of dollar bills, quarters, dimes. It was sleeting, close to freezing outside. But he wanted that bike so bad. It was like that one, right? You have it? Yes, thank you, thank you. How much is it? $320. For a bike? I mean, uh, I'll take it. Sorry, buddy, it's been sold. But I can order you one. Shouldn't take more than two weeks. Bendleby, you've just scored the winning touchdown to win the championship for your team. How do you feel? This is the best day of my life, but I can't take all the credit. If it wasn't for my loving mother, Karen, sisters, and my dog, Guinness, none of this would ever happen. Roy, what about your father? Don't you want to thank him? Don't you ever mention his name, you hear me? Never! He destroyed my bike and almost destroyed my life. Well, you heard it here, folks. And for all you fathers out there, please, we urge you, keep your hands off your children's bicycles. Back to you, Jim. Dad, things could have been a lot worse. I could have gotten an F. Dad, I was just kidding, Dad. I'm gonna teach you kids a lesson. A lesson you'll never forget. You don't wanna learn algebra? You don't wanna study algebra? Well, now you're mine, all mine. Now drop and give me 20. Not 20 push-ups, 20 equations, 20 reciprocals, and 20 coefficients. Sir, sir yes, sir. X plus Y equals X, Y, sir. If X equals Y, Y equals X, sir. Which means, sir, X plus Y equals X, sir. Y equals X, sir. And X, X equals Y, Y, sir. Which means X squared is X times X, sir. From you, boy, make that a hundred. Life has ups and downs, Roy. Little bumps in the road. <laughs> but eventually, you, you get over them. In conclusion, I hope that my being valedictorian will inspire others that they too can overcome insurmountable odds. After my father stole my bike and destroyed it, I thought I'd never recover. But I'm living proof that you can overcome anything, even an unfeeling, irresponsible father. There's the beast right there! Get him! Dad, I can explain. You know I've never been very good at math. Besides, it's only one D. You can live with that, right? Everyone makes mistakes. No son of mine ever gets a D. Son, son. You're a grandfather? Nothing like it. Who do you love? Papa. Oh, right. Oh, how cute. Little William is trying to talk. What do you want to say, sweetheart? Bad work, Roy. I don't want him to know that word. He doesn't have a grandfather. His grandfather was still his bike and mangling. Do you hear me? Mangle! If you've got any ideas for me, I'd sure like to hear them. Well, I 
Whether it's now or never. I'll take never. Daddy's home! Daddy's home! <laughs> what took you so long? All this walking making you move slower? He did walk. He took Roy's bike. What? Catherine, sweetie, could you please go to your room for a minute? Okay, but this is getting old. Yes, I took the bike. But Norma, something even worse happened. It's gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? It was stolen? No, I mean gone, like in demolished, decimated, annihilated, never to be ridden again on God's green earth. What? Somebody ran over it. Oh, Roy's going to be devastated. Arthur, what are you going to do? I ordered him a new one, but it won't be here for two weeks. How are you going to break the news to him? I've given that a lot of consideration. And what I thought was... Maybe you could tell him. Oh, no. This was your doing. You need to be the one to tell him. Maybe I shouldn't bother him right now. Don't worry about that. He has something to tell you, too. Son, your mother said <clears throat> um, that you have something to tell me. Wow, I almost forgot. I was so busy cleaning my room. You know how I hate dirt. <laughs> right, right, of course. Uh, and a fine job you did, son. Well, Dad, everything I learned, I learned from you. Like, you know, driving for a week. <clears throat> I'm proud to have a father like you who stands for something. In fact, I'm going to join you on your walks. I love walking. I'm glad you feel that way. Uh, uh, Roy, I am something to tell you. But before I do, I am so blessed to have you as my son. No, it's all me. I'm the blessed one. No, I am. No. Don't argue with me, boy. I am blessed. We got our report cards today, Dad. And, um, I didn't exactly do all that great in algebra. Okay, Dad, this is probably going to sound a lot worse than it really is. I got a... I got a D. A D? Yeah, Dad, I'm sorry. I just don't understand algebra. Did you try to understand it? Well, yeah, but then I fell behind and, well, I kind of gave up. Gave up? Son, bindle beefs don't give up. I think it's just too hard for me. We need to get you a tutor. A tutor? I can't do that. What will my friend say? They'll probably say, how come we're in sixth grade and you're still in fifth? Mom said dinner's ready. Um, don't worry, Roy. We'll slide yours under the door. <laughs> Look, son, I had a tutor when I was in school, and it was in math. You'll learn algebra, and once you learn it, it's something you'll never forget. Kind of like riding a bike? Uh, sort of. Look, just remember that if you're having trouble in school, talk to your mother and me. That's why we're here. Thanks, Dad. You said you had something to tell me? Yes. It's about your bike. Oh, right. I understand. I deserve it. Taking my bike away from me for punishment. Punishment? Oh, right, right. Punishment. How long are we talking? Oh, I was thinking about, uh, two weeks. Yeah, okay, I, I guess that's fair. Yes, I, I, I mean, yes, it is fair. I'm, I'm glad you see it that way. Now, come on, buddy. Get washed up and let's go eat. Thank you. Dennis! Give me Mr. Bummy back, Dennis! How'd it go? Fine. Actually, perfect. He's not mad at you? No, he said two weeks without a bike. Isn't so bad. Really? Hey, all. Hey, Sky. What's up? You're looking at a girl who's going to the prom after all. Mike got his grade change. Mike who? I'm going with Greg Nathan. Greg Nathan? Shut up. For real? We already got matching outfits and a stretch limo. Mike was going to take me on his motorbike. Which reminds me, Roy, I'm so sorry to hear about your bike. How did you already hear about that? Hear about it? I was there when your bicycle became a no-cycle. Talk about a wreck. What are you talking about? Sky, you know you're always welcome here, honey. But we were planning on having a quiet family dinner here tonight. Oh, sure. I... What do you mean, wreck? You know, when your dad took your bike to Steagles and it got totaled. Total? Okay, fine. If no one wants to have a family dinner, I'll go eat by myself. In Pennsylvania. Uh, Dad? Dad, I think we need to have a little talk. Thank you. 
Thank you.